What's up guys welcome back to Android app development tutorial. This tutorial I am specially making to clarify a few of my subscribers doubt. There were queries regarding the formation of action bar activity, automatic adding up of library while creating a project. Few of our subscribers were not getting the action bar activity library app combat v7 into their project. So let me tell you what to do in that case. Now guys when you create your first application if this action bar activity is not there then please don't worry about it. I will just show you how to add the blank activity, how to add this app combat v7 jar and also how to add this library into the workspace. Now first let me tell you while creating the project what you have to do. File, new, android application project. Now let's write second app, fine. Let it be shrakes dot example blah 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 whatever. Now hit on next. Now again next. Now again next. Now here if you select this empty activity now this creates a new empty activity. Now if you select this blank activity it is showing creates a new blank activity with an action bar and optional navigational elements such as tabs or horizontal swipe whatever. Now if you select this empty activity then it's create a empty activity. Now let's check out what this empty activity stands for. Now hit on next. Now here inside the empty activity you are having two files. The first is a java file which is named as main activity and second is the activity main.xml find there is no fragments.xml. So let's hit on finish. So now guys this is our second app that has been created. Fine. Now here this was our first app so let's close it. This fragment.xml let's close it again. Now this is our activity main.xml of our second app and this is our java file. Now inside the java file here you can see there is no action bar activity. We are having this activity fine. So we want action bar activity right here. So what we are going to do we have to import a library in our second app. So for that first it is always required you have to import this. You have to import this library file from our SDK. Now how to import this if it is not present. Now just go to file here click on import. Now here inside the android select existing android code into workspace. Now just select it hit on next. Now after this root directory. So just browse it. Now after this go to the drive where your SDK is stored. As I told you always store your SDK in the drive apart from C drive. So I have stored my SDK in the D drive. So I will go to my path docs whatever important dream android application development then Eclipse inside it I am having the Android SDK. So open it. Now after this inside the Android SDK you will find the extras folder. Now open this. Now after this inside the extras folder you will find here Android option is here. Now open this. Now after the inside the Android you are having support. Again open this. Now inside the support you are having v7 just open this. Now inside the v7 we are having this app combat file. So just select this app combat fine. This is the file. Now hit on ok. Now when you hit on ok it will show inside the projects it will show project to import just select it and make sure you have checked this box copy projects into workspace. Just select it. Now hit on finish. Now guys here at the top you can check out android support v7 app combat library has been imported. Now you must be thinking the file names are different. So please don't bother about it guys it is all same. Fine its functionality is all same. Now go to your second application which was lacking the action bar activity. Just right click on it. Then hit on properties. Now go to android. Now here, now here at the bottom if app combat v7.2 library is available then you are good to go. If it is not available suppose this is blank fine. So just hit on add. Now just select any of it. We have right now imported this android support v7 app combat. So just select it. Hit on ok. 
fine now again hit on okay now again guys till now you are not good to go again you have to right click on the second app go to properties now here you have to go to java build path just select it fine now inside the java build path here is the libraries tab now here inside the libraries we are not having app combat v7 now inside the libraries if you click on this dependencies then you will find android v7 app combat is already present here but if it is not present here then what you have to do now suppose if this is not present here then what you are going to do you have to go to add external jars fine now here again you have to find the path of your android sdk here is my android sdk now inside it go to extras now go to android support v7 app combat then libraries then here is the android support v7 app combat just select it hit on open fine here you go here is your library now go to order and export go here now here you have to select it fine now when you select it then after this hit on okay right now guys you can check out here our dependencies has been saved here android support v7 app combat jar now here in our reference libraries also we are having this app combat v7 so now we can change this activity to action bar activity successfully now what we're going to do now just remove it just type action bar control space fine now here you will find action bar activity android support v7 app now just select it fine now here we go we have all automatically imported the package android support v7 app combat action bar activity so this is our required super class right so we have to remove this package remove unused import just hover over it and remove it fine now so guys in this way if you are not getting the action bar activity such process you have to follow so this was just i was showing the demonstration so just close it close this also i think we should delete this application we don't need it as of now fine delete the project so delete the project content on the disk okay no props fine yeah we have removed it now again let's remove this also delete it let's lighten our workspace now second also let's delete it fine now let's open our first application main activity dot java and we are having what fragments main dot java right now there are some changes that we require to make in our first application and those changes i showed you in the previous tutorial right guys so catch you guys in the next video guys this was a tutorial i made on your demand so thanks for watching have a good day